Hello everyone, how is it going? Welcome back to another video. So the game is uh, officially live and I just downloaded the update. I think it's around 120 or 150 MB, something like that. It's not a huge uh, download that you have to do, it's just a small patch, I think. Uh, but yeah, you know, I've already downloaded the update. I'm just waiting for, uh, you know, the game to log in. All right, so we are, we have logged in. All right, so, uh, you know, the patch notes are released and, uh, you know, we'll also take a look at the patch notes soon enough. So they, they were talking about the ascension thing, you know, where we can upgrade our characters to uh, above seven stars. So let's see. I mean, they have fixed uh, some bugs as well. But let's take a look at the inbox. Welcome to update uh, 6.2. And this is what I was looking forward to because I, okay. All right, 1500 gems, uh, some coins, experience capsules. And I think that is pretty much it. So that's what they have given us. Thank you for your patience as we work to address live issues with update 6.2 and for the unexpected maintenance period that carried through the weekend. Uh, we truly apologize for the inconvenience. Sure. Uh, please accept 1500 gems, 15 tier ex experience capsules, 25 sim chips and 150,000 credits. Uh, so yeah, you know, I, I was expecting a thousand gems, but this is a little more than what I was expecting. Uh, but yeah, you know, this is what it is. All right. So we also have uh, the patch notes over here. Uh, we'll take a look at the patch notes real quick as well. So uh, yeah, so this says that uh, a new uh, way to ascend your heroes beyond seven stars, as we talked about before, uh, the release of Legendary Peacemaker on Feb 28th, just two days from now, several bug fixes and more. We can check the patch notes from here if we want to. So, uh, you know what, I'm, I was really looking forward to taking a look at uh, the League Invasions. Let me take a look at League Invasions over here because there is uh, this uh, Ascension material apparently which should be available in League Invasions. So let me just take a look at that. Alright, it's loading. You know, we know that Leagues are a little slow in this game. But they have never really bothered to fix this or at least address the issue. Okay, so the new season hasn't started yet. All right, invasion leaderboard where we can actually see the reward. So let's see if we have something over here. God, the loading times are too much, man. So, uh, yeah, we are back. I don't know why. Right. Apparently, we should be able to see the rewards over here. Let's see. Yeah, so this is exactly what I was looking forward to seeing. So we have the new kind of orbs, which is universe orbs. The universe orbs are mythic and found in, in League Invasions. Uh, universe orbs are also used, are used with hero shards and credits to promote a hero star, star rating of ascended hero. All right, so this is the those orbs which will be used to ascend a hero to beyond seven stars which will be called as the ascended hero this is exactly what we had in mortal kombat mobile as i was talking about before in my previous videos too uh that they are going to bring in this ascension thing and these are the new orbs you know that will help you to ascend your characters to more than uh, seven stars so i think we can do with do it with all the characters you know not just with gold or silvers i think because they haven't mentioned it so which means that we can ascend every hero even silvers uh let me just read it again Hero shards and credits, yeah. To promote a hero. So they haven't mentioned specific heroes. Um, you know, so which means that we can even promote silvers, golds, and legendaries to seven stars and more. 
I mean, we can ascend them, right? So let's move on. Uh, let's move on now. Apparently, you should have received all your accounts back. You just need to update the game. I don't think uh, I, I. You know what I did? How I updated this is I just logged in, in into the game, and then we got the message that, that the update is available. So I clicked on that message. I clicked OK to update, and then it took me to Play Store, and I updated the game from there. So I did not go directly in the Play Store to update the game. I went through the game. If in case you're not able to find the game in the Play Store even now, then just log into the game and click on OK, uh, and then download the game from there. From and it will take you to the Play Store page uh, where you can directly download the game. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's see if there are any changes over here now. Yep. So it says after reaching seven stars, every hero can be promoted further, becoming ascended hero by spending universe orbs. I so I can promote your hero above seven star. This will unlock a new passive, a unique to a hero class. Wow. All right. Two orbs are required to ascend Aquaman uh, and 300k coins. It says that a new talent will be unlocked. Where exactly? I don't see a new talent. Oh, yeah. There it is. Class passive will be unlocked. Okay. All right. So we cannot take a look at it which exactly it will be it will be class passive which means that uh, obviously he's a might hero so something related to might class will be unlocked uh yeah i don't think i think it comes to all the heroes now all right yeah there we go class passive class passive all right so there are some changes made to the game definitely and i think in order to upgrade those uh, passives too we need something else which is the Eternium. Eternium could be found in League Invasion events. Again, one more reason to play more League Invasions. All right, so Eternium is used to upgrade class passive to the ascended heroes to a higher level. So you cannot upgrade your class passive with coins. You need to have Eternium. Now, Eternium is basically this uh, material that you need to be, uh, that you can get from League Invasions, uh, apparently. And uh, you know, you will need these to upgrade your class passives. There we go. So I'm not sure still that if we can ascend the heroes only once. All right, this is a good thing. You know what? Because we can actually obtain these universe orbs. By shattering. Yeah, let's see. Wow, I did get four orbs. So what I did is I spent 20 of these intergalactic orbs to get four universe orbs. Nice. Let's do that. Let's promote a character to ascend. Let's ascend a character. Okay, so they are giving me a notification like an uh, ascend option over here on these characters. So guess which character I'll ascend? King, King himself. How many shards I need to do that? 400 shards apparently as you can see over here move this as you can see over here 400 shards are required to ascend a hero to more than seven stars let's do that let's see how it looks I mean, this is a good thing you know even if you don't play a lot of league in region you can still shatter some orbs and uh, get enough orbs to promote wow we can do it even higher we can take him even higher i think we can take it all the way to seven all right you unlocked class passive for this hero, it can be leveled up by spending Eternium, which apparently we don't have. Let's see the class passive. All right, all right. This looks good. Uh, minus 10% incoming damage. 40% uh, chance to become unhittable for 5 seconds after a successful special. All right, guys. So this could be, this could make a difference in the gameplay definitely titanic fortitude now this is just one character guys there are many characters that can be ascended so uh yeah this this is nice because you know usually uh king is one of those characters that can basically do a loop with shazam and dr fate uh but yeah we're using king and raven 
and let's say if the character is not combo interruptible but then this class passive will come in very useful you know i don't know if they have it for all the all of them and i i really don't know if uh, we can you know i'm just testing these things out guys so, so basically you know there may be some things that i might miss if i miss something do let me know down in the comments so i'm not gonna send it all over again i still have two uh you know there are many characters that can be ascended almost or i don't think we can ascend silvers yeah i was wrong about that i guess or maybe i just don't have shards for him okay let's see silvers 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 wow so i just don't have a lot of silver shards i guess okay so you know what you know what let me try to ascend a character that I basically use a lot. Okay, let's just send Batman and Lord Joker. Let's see what his passives bring in. Class passives. I'm just testing the, this out, guys. You know, maybe it will be something else. So I think I think uh, you know every class has a different passive. So let's say Might class will have the same passive as King of all the Might classes will have same passives. Like King of Atlantis, Aquaman. All agility will have the same passive. All uh, other ca classes like Arcane will have the same passives. Let's see. 150% fast attack damage. Nice. Plus 20% fast attack. Becoming true damage. Or what's true damage. Blessed with extraordinary speed, the agile hero becomes a whirlwind of motion in combat. Rapid assault. Increases fast attack damage, and there is a chance for fast attack to become true damage by passing any defenses, any sort of defense, guys. Which means uh, we can even bypass shields because they have mentioned any sort of defense, right? So as far as I I can understand this, uh, we get different class. So basically, there are how many classes? Arcane, Might, Agility, uh, Meta Human, four, four or five, I think, and all these. Uh, Classes have an individual pa passive for themselves, which will be unlocked after you ascend a character. That's what we did. Right, so metahumans will be different. Arcane will be different. Agility will be different. Tech will be different. Right, but uh, this is not, uh, com uh, this won't be different based on the characters, but it will be based on the class of those characters. Right, so all the mites will have the same passives. All the arcane will have the same passives and uh, so on. So this is this is something new, something different, you know. So I'm glad that they actually thought about this. But let's hope that the these passives uh, don't bring in a lot of bugs, because if they start bringing in a lot of bugs, then yeah, you know, the game becomes a little, you know, boring. It's just repetitive bugs coming in again and again after every update. Now just hope. Let's just hope and pray that we don't get a lot of bugs after this update. Uh, so yeah, guys, I guess this is pretty much it for the video today. Let's read the patch notes again uh maybe tomorrow so yeah i guess that's pretty much it for the video guys if you enjoyed it give it a like and let's meet again in the next video until then guys have a great day take care and have a good one guys Bye bye